Rachel Ashwell's ability to blend diverse items with ease and beauty is a result of treasure hunting around the country. Rachel sent her associate, Mark Colson, on one such treasure hunt to Ann Arbor, Michigan. I think the uh, Ann Arbor swap meet was, uh, I think it went pretty well. I found a lot of, a lot of larger pieces, pieces of furniture, um, some end tables, some larger cabinets. Ann Arbor was really great uh, in furniture. Some of the pieces, I mean, they have sort of uh, an interesting history. Some people knew, uh, you know, who I was and who I represented and all that kind of thing, which was a little odd. Once we got um, out on sort of out in the Midwest, uh, I just stopped at little places along the way. And you kind of had to search for things. I had a great time. I think we got some uh, really interesting stuff, some good stuff, some really quality stuff. Then we'll see what Rachel says. All in all, I think it was great. Mark has brought his purchases back to the warehouse in Los Angeles, where they undergo a shabby chic transformation. Rachel joins him for the first step, the process of evaluation. Hey, Mark. Hi. Hey, Rachel, how you doing? Good, you're back from Michigan. I am, yeah. With a truckload of stuff. Yeah, a few things. Yeah, I see obviously you've got quite a lot of it down already. Yeah. So sure. good, I can't wait to see. Rachel is pleased with the original paintwork on this chest of drawers. Love, just the whole combination of the green coming through the cream, also being able to see quite a history of different finishes and oh, things. Oh, seriously, no, no. For some reason, I thought you were going to want me to paint this thing straight away that you were no, going to... No, that right? no, 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 kidding. Well, you can never second guess me, can I, you? I, I, I won't. <laughs> I won't try to do that again. Replacing the gold handles, however, requires more thought. You know, what we could do is we, I, I could paint it over, you know, and we could see what it looks like and then go okay. from there. Okay, okay. So basically what you're saying is, is that if you were going to repaint the whole cover, then it wouldn't be a problem to block up the holes that are there, and then mm. we could just have the single handle. Right. These things, I mean, because I know that they are hideous, but uh, uh, even painted, they're not going to bother you? Let me see it. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. But, uh, I mean, certainly the gold is like, ew. Mark modifies the hardware on this chest of drawers for mostly aesthetic reasons. The first order of business is to get these handles off of here and these things are a little bit on the precarious side you can see that this handle is just about ready to come off in my hand right now and this the odd thing about these is that they're actually eye hooks so when I take this piece off you'll be able to see that it's just a very long eye hook which I've never seen anything like that before in my entire life I'll paint these up and uh, see what they look like I'm just gonna try the one drawer first and see how that goes, see how she likes it. So I was pretty happy with purchases that I made in Ann Arbor. Um, when I first bought the stuff, I thought I was going to have to do a little bit more work than actually it uh, turned out that I had to do. You don't have to be daunted by uh, some of the pieces that you may find at a flea market. You may look at it, it may require just a little bit of work, but with a few minor adjustments, you can really transform a piece. You don't have to do a complete makeover. And I think that's the thing to take away with the pieces that we saw today. With its original paintwork intact, this chest of drawers is the perfect blend of shabby and chic. The once garish gold handles are painted and vintage wallpaper lines the drawers. 